Hey everyone, Nike here. Wall 3D has been releasing a whole new range of 3D printers and the Twilight 10 is one of their new ones. So let's unbox it and check it out. This is the Wall 3D Twilight 10, which is one of Wall 3D's large print volume printers, but still not the biggest as the title is taken by the Aster Max. Opening up the box, we have everything laid out neatly. Let's start out with this small packet. It contains the tools, accessories and also a roll of filament. Here's the filament holder and a power card. Now for the extruder column. Here's the direct drive extruder with the wall 3D branding on it. We have another section below which has the controller base with the huge glass plate. The build dimensions can go as high as 320 x 320 x 400 mm. Remove this clip to access the carborundum glass plate. Once the plate is off, we can peel the protective film. Secure the glass plate down using the clip we removed earlier. Hmm, moving this bed forward and back, I can feel a wobble. Using the screw here, we can tighten the belt, increasing the tension and the wobble is gone. These are the provided screws, a set of Allen keys, a spanner, a Teflon tube and an extra nozzle is also included. SD card. This contains the slicing software and a couple of test models. 30 grams of filament, more than enough for a test print. The extruder column will fit in here into these grooves. Wall 3D has designed a 3D printer which is easy to assemble in two steps. It is 90% pre-assembled and hence even a beginner with zero basic knowledge can assemble this printer. Carefully slide the column into the grooves. I held the printer sideways to screw in the bolts. You could use the side of a table instead to access the screw holes below. I would have liked the screw holes to be from the top as this is a bit finicky if you're doing it alone. But I managed to get it done. Do the same on both sides and the printer is ready. Not sure why there are so many screws. The only other location I can use a pair is for the power plug. We have a nice handle now on the top with the Twilight 10 branding. We have these white connectors on the sides. Plug them in. Attach this interface cable here. These are the screws I was talking about. These make sure that the power plug doesn't disconnect accidentally. Here's the toolbox cover. We have a mini toolbox area on the base where we can store our tools. No need to fumble around looking for them as they're all safe in one place. The filament holder slides on and snaps into place. We have the Twilight 10 branding in front and we also find a USB port, a SD card slot and a USB-C port. We have two slots on top to store your SD cards. Here's the power port. Plug in the provided power cable and turn on. The Wall 3 logo appears on boot up and we are presented with the printer's touch interface. Here's how the completed printer looks. The extruder is direct drive, meaning that its dual gears are housed above the nozzle and they pull in the filament directly. I've installed the filament provided in the box and inserted the other end into the extruder. If the filament runs out during a print, filament runout detection is supported which would pause the print until the filament is replaced. Insert the SD card into the slot like so. It goes in upside down. The touchscreen allows us to interact with the printer, level the bed, start a print and also set up the defaults for the printer such as nozzle and bed temps. As we have just put the printer together, a bed leveling is in order, which is quite easy via this one touch option. The printer uses bilinear leveling by tapping the extruder on the bed in 12 zones. The auto leveling function automatically compensates for any unevenness in the hot bed. Now that that's done, let's try out a print. The SD card already has two files on it. I'm choosing the pumpkin monster G code file. Printing is now underway. Here's the print process.
and once it's printed, it pops off quite easily. The print has come out really well and the filament has a shine to it which I didn't know it did. The tiny details is also very clean. There was a bit of yellow filament in the nozzle, hence the two colours. Overall, it was a clean print and it was quite fast too. What I like about these new printers by Wall 3 d is that it's very easy to put together. But the accessibility of the screws from below to fix down the extruder column is a bit awkward on the Twilight 10. You can place it close to the edge of the table and then fit the screws from below. That's just a suggestion from my side. Large build sizes gives you the freedom to make large prototypes or multiple smaller objects in one go. It's a very good, easy to use 3D printer and is recommended if you need large build volumes. The Twilight 10 is a tad smaller in build volume as compared to the Aster Max, but it might be still big enough for many as it's still bigger than the Ender 3. It's easy to put together. I had just two bolts to attach to the extruder column, power it on and level the bed and the printer was ready to use. That's quite nice. Do you use a 3D printer? Which 3D printer do you have? Make sure to comment below. And also make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.